Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So we're going to get right into this video. Um, right now I am doing my prep, so I'm pushing back my cuticles. They seem to be very stubborn. <laughs> I feel like I always have that problem. Most of the time, I soak my hands in hot water before I do this because it helps me to push everything back. I'll have to invest in some cuticle remover. All right, so now I'm just going in with my drill and I'm gonna go around the cuticle and try to get up as much as I can of the cuticle on my nail plate. So I'm just going to apologize right now because I keep pulling my hands out of frame and I will try to make a better effort to stay in frame. And here I am just cutting off the cuticle, all that dead stuff at the top. And this is me realizing how hard it is to actually do this while you're filming so that other people can see it. A lot of times when I do my nails, they're, I bring it right up into my face so that I can see what I'm doing. All right, and so once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna go in with some 91% isopropyl alcohol and some lint-free nail wipes and just give all my nails a good cleaning. And now I'm taking my drill and I'm going to just scuff up the nail a little bit, take all the shine away. So while I'm doing this, I'll just give you a disclaimer that I am just a nail enthusiast who likes to do my nails when I'm not working. Um, I'm not a professional, but it's something that I really enjoy doing. So if uh, anybody would like to 
comment and let me know, you know, what do you guys like to do uh, in your spare time that's relaxing to you? So now I'm taking my Model 1's base coat and I am using my Savvy Land uh, full cover tips. And what I actually did was I snipped off some of the top of the tip because I didn't want them to be completely full cover. And so I'm just going to apply my base coat and then I'm going to cure my nail tip onto my nail that way. I know some people like to um, put their nail tips on with base coat or with glue first. Okay, so here I am curing my thumb, and this is really hard to do in a full-size lamp. I need to invest in one of those little clamshell ones, so it'd probably be a lot easier. So I just continued that process until I had all of my nail tips on and looking cute. So I'm just going to take my McCart nail file and I'm just going to go on the sides and straighten those out just a little bit. I made sure that I chose tips that were going to go sidewall to sidewall and I think a couple of them were maybe just a tiny bit too big, so I'm just kind of uh, filing that down. So now I'm just taking the shine off of the nail and I'm not really sure why I started doing this before cutting my nail tips because in this one I actually do cut my nail tips down into like a really sharp stiletto and make them shorter. I know everybody loves super long nails and I do too. I love to look at them but I have a really hard time wearing them. I may do some really long sets in the future, but that would be something that I would probably have to pop off right away. So here I'm just taking my cuticle nippers and this is where I'm going to cut the nails down into my sharp stiletto.
and this is where I'm gonna start shaping the nails. So now that my nails are all shaped, I'm just going to go back in with some isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free wipe and get all that dust off of everything. It really bothers me if there's like little chunks of stuff in there, so I try to wipe them down really good. And again, I'm using my alcohol, putting it in my dish. And then we're going to get started on the application. So I'm using uh, models, a uh, models one, model ones, uh, green color. I actually don't end up using this one. I don't like the way that it looks. Uh, once I get a little bit of it on my nail, it's not really what I was going for. So I end up wiping that off. So this one is like a sparkly emerald green color. It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go in with base coat on all the nails. So is anybody else super messy when they use nail polish? I feel like I'm always getting it everywhere, so I'm constantly wiping everything up. I don't know if it's just me being clumsy or trying to go too fast, but that's, I guess, just me. <laughs> Alright, so now that all my base coat is on, I'm going to continue to put colors on my palette. So this is a Milky White from Born Pretty. Um, I really love this color when I'm doing like a marbled look or anything like that. It's like the perfect milky consistency. Like It's just wonderful. and a white. All right, so I'm using McCart Poly Gel Clear. And this is my very first time using poly gel, uh, not with dual forms. So this is my first time actually like using the nail tips and forming the nail kind of freestyle, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Um, it was a lot messier than I was anticipating, but we got there in the end.
So you'll see as you keep watching, I start off with my pointer finger and I actually end up changing my method a little bit uh, each time I do a nail just to try and get like the right process for me, the one that worked the best and produced the best results. Um, I wasn't super happy with how my pointer finger turned out. I think that's why I just kept trying different things until I figured out, you know, how I wanted the nails to look. So yeah, like I said, I've never done this before. Um, I really wanted to try it. Um, I was pretty inspired by uh, Nails by Vic. Um, she does a lot of poly gel and I really wanted to try the way that she does it. She makes it look way easier than it is. So on this nail, I started in with my green and I kind of just placed it where I thought it would look best. And now I'm adding the clear. And then I'll add the white and then blend it all together. So you can see me mixing my poly gel with some of my, uh, the milky white and the bright white, trying to get some white poly gel for that. Um, and then on my next finger, you'll see that I do a different approach. I think if I mix poly gels again, I'm going to have to get like little cups because it made a pretty big mess and it was pretty hard to get off of my mixing plate. So I'm just trying to go from sidewall to sidewall and make sure everything's covered. And then I'm kind of pushing the poly gel upwards closer to the cuticle area. I, uh, you know, wanted to make sure I could get that going up there.
So I'm shaping up the nails and I have my dust collector. Um, I got that dust collector from Amazon. Uh, I can try to link it. Um, it's been a while since I bought it, but I'll try to find it and link it. So as you can see, I keep like touching my nail and what I'm doing there is I'm trying to feel how deep the scratches are that I'm putting in my nail. I, uh, like I said, I've never done this type of polygel application before with the dual forms. You really only have to, you know, do a light buff on the top. So I just wanted to make sure I wasn't ruining all the work I just did. And now I'm going in with my Melody Susie e-file uh, with a fine grit sanding band. And I'm just going around the cuticle, uh, making sure that I'm getting everything as flush as possible. And I'm doing this on a pretty slow speed. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert on nails or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm just doing what's comfortable for me um, and what works. So now that I got everything filed, I'm just dusting off my nails, getting all that stuff off. And then I'm going to go in with some alcohol and wipe these babies down. So now I'm going in with my McCart top coat and I'm going to top coat all of these nails and then cure. Um, so I typically cure for 30 to 60 seconds. It just depends on, uh, I guess how thick of an application I do. Uh, sometimes I like to do an extra thick layer of top coat, make them really, really glossy. Um, on the thumbnail, since I use the coarse side of my nail file I wanted to make sure that I was filling in all those scratches because poly gel is a little soft um, so that's why I'm kind of taking my time with this nail and kind of uh, kind of scrubbing it in I guess you could say
so yeah just looking at the nails right now i think they turned out pretty cute for how nervous i was to do this um i really like the marbled look um i have done some marbled looks in the past obviously i didn't film them um but maybe i'll recreate them i did like a lavender colored one one time that was really really pretty but i've gotten so many compliments on my on this nail set um i just really really loved how they turned out I don't know about you guys, but there is nothing better to me than seeing the top coat go on because you have these like scratched up cloudy nails and then all of a sudden you just smooth it over and everything's beautiful. So I've never actually done like a full set of sharp stiletto nails before. So let me know what you guys think about them in the comments. Um, also, what is your favorite shape? Leave me your answer in the comments. Since I use clear, I am going to top coat the underneath as well so that the clear can be really clear. Everybody says that McCart's uh, clear poly gel is the clearest. And honestly, the only poly gel I've ever used so far is McCart, but I am excited to try different brands uh, moving forward and see if that's true. So now that I have the top coat on, I'm just wiping them down. I know some people don't wipe them down or need to. My top coat is a no wipe, but I like to wipe them down. I just maybe have a thing about stuff on my hands. I don't know. But next we're going to go in with some McCart rhinestone glue and we're going to put some charms on these. So I got these charms from Amazon. Um, it came in a six pack, I believe. And each of these little containers has like di a different color theme. So we're going to be using the greens and golds to go with this set. And I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do as far as charms, so sorry it takes me so long to pick out my charms. But once I figure it out, I will put some glue on my thumb. And then we are going to do the, uh, is that a North Star? Is that what you want to call that? We're doing the North Star and we're going to do the Crescent Moon on my thumb. And I did a little, uh, a little green rock or whatever you want to call it, just, you know, for some color.
So one thing about these gems uh, that I got from Amazon is a lot of them are not flat backed. Um, so most of the gems you would have to use for like a cluster or something like that. There are some of the flat back gems in there, but not very many. Um, and also these moons, I had to actually take it off my nail and bend it so that it would fit the curve so that I could put it back on. So just a warning that if you get these, you'll have to kind of DIY them to be able to use them. So once I get it all on, I'm just going to go around with some more top coat uh, to secure these. I don't do it all the time, but for these ones, they were a little chunkier than I usually like to put on my nails. Um, and I wasn't really trusting that moon. So I just went around it with some more top coat. And I'm making a mess all over my uh, fingers, as you can see. So we finally got the thumb done and now we are going to move on to the ring finger. So I'm just going to float some top coat over the rhinestone glue, give it a little extra layer to squish into. So I'm just doing a design like straight down my finger. So I'm doing the North Star and then the moon and then the star. I think it turned out super cute. And I made the perfect shot. Did you see that? The star went right back into the container. All right, so now that we're done, I'm just gonna put some cuticle oil on these dry fingers and then show them off. All right, so there's the nail set. Like I said, I think they turned out super cute, especially because I kind of went into this not knowing 100% what I wanted to do, and I feel like I fumbled a little bit with the uh, application, but here's the finished look. Um, this is what they look like outside in daylight. Um, thank you for watching. I'm so glad that uh, I started this YouTube channel and I can't wait to put out more videos for you guys. Uh, thank you so much and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.